to people having uh, fatigue and loss of strength and stamina when they're getting into their 50s, 60s, and 70s. Well, carnosine helps to prevent this process of sarcopenia, and it helps to support overall muscle strength and stamina. So when we're talking about aging and we want to be healthy and strong into old age, carnosine is going to be a very valuable nutrient to support a exercise program. Now, we're not going to make any medical claims. I am going to be showing you a number of clinical studies about carnosine. Uh, you'll be really excited about the information, but I do want to communicate that we're not making any claims that we're treating any types of medical conditions with any of our products. So this is some information that you should be aware of them. Now, uh, when people do not get enough sleep, so let's say you're only sleeping four hours a day, uh, this is something that you're really going to want to take care of, uh, other than you're not going to be feeling very well, uh, you're going to see an accumulation of something called beta amyloid 2 protein. And beta amyloid 2 protein is closely associated with Alzheimer's disease. Hey, Ron, are you guys able to hear this okay? By the way, I know you're connecting. I can see it. I'm just waiting for it to pop open there. So I'm trying to play that as it, as we have people come in. Just want to make sure the audio is working all right. So your audio is not working, Ron. There we go. Can you give me a thumbs up? Was that were you able to hear that video when I was playing it, Ron? Todd and Shannon, welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got a video I'm going to be playing here for just a little bit here while we wait for some people to get in, but I want to make sure you guys are able to hear this. So let me let me hit the play on this here, and then we'll just make sure. So in a number of animal studies, carnosine has been shown okay, to thanks, reduce... Ron or blunt some of the toxic we'll, effects of beta app. We'll start in about five minutes. I want to give people time to click uh, to jump in, though. So I'll be working on that while, while David talks about carnosine. To protein. Now, it, when you're doing animal studies, it doesn't always mean that this is going to translate to human beings. So we want to take some caution here. But it is very exciting that carnosine may end up being a nutrient to help to protect people from Alzheimer's disease. We'll have to see what the future holds through further research. One thing that is definitely known about carnosine, and many of our members have shared this with us, is that it definitely helps to promote wound healing. And as you're going to see in uh, one of the studies that we're going to show, Carnosine definitely has uh, improvements in overall cognitive function. We've seen that in our own studies, and there's certainly plenty of information that's been done by independent researchers to show this link as well. Now, interestingly enough, taking carnosine supplements is not the most effective way to elevate carnosine. The problem is that if you take a carnosine pill, it's broken down by your stomach acids, and that means that the carnosine is not getting into the blood where it is needed. So this is one of the incredible advantages of our technology. We're going to be stimulating the skin with light. And this acts as a signal to create an increase in carnosine. Now, one final note that is important is that vegetarians notoriously have low levels of carnosine. And this is because from the diet, 
carnosine is primarily found in meat. So if you want to be a vegetarian, I would strongly suggest that you look into consuming beta alanine. Beta alanine is one of the amino acids that carnosine is made of. It's beta alanine and histidine, but beta alanine or just simply alanine is usually not found in a vegetarian diet or vegan diet. So you may want to supplement with the amino acid alanine to make sure that you have that amino acid so you can make carnosine. Okay, let's go ahead and dig into some more information here on the potential of carnosine. And as a matter of fact, we are going to start off with a study here on the potential of carnosine in brain-related disorders. Now, the reason why I want to bring this up is to show you that carnosine is so powerful that it is being looked at as a therapy for brain-related disorders. You usually find very few nutritional supplements, very few natural nutrients that are being looked at as therapeutic treatments for significant diseases like Alzheimer's disease, as an example. So this is simply to communicate to you that carnosine is incredibly powerful and it needs to be looked at in that way. Okay, so let's take a look at this here. And if you take a look at the abstract, it's simply going to be going over a summary of why carnosine is being looked at. And the thing that we want to do is just simply scroll down. There's going to be a tremendous amount of information here on carnosine. You can see that they're interested in looking at neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, psychiatric disorders. Actually, you can find if you Google carnosine in psychiatric disorders, it's one of the interesting applications that people look at. But let's go ahead, even epilepsy. Let's go ahead and go down over here to the conclusion because there's some things here that I want to point out. But much of this interest in carnosine is based on the antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects that are well established in the literature. Even chelation, it is known that carnosine can help to bind to aluminum and remove aluminum from the brain. So I hope none of you are drinking soda. And if you are, I hope you're not drinking soda out of a can. And the same thing with beer. I hope that you're not drinking beer out of an aluminum can because this aluminum can get into the body. It can get into the brain and cause problems. Fortunately, carnosine can detoxify aluminum from the body. But in any case, what I wanted to point out is that there have been human studies that have shown promising results of supplementation with carnosine or its precursors, meaning beta alanine, for specific cognitive functions. So this is going to mean that carnosine is so powerful that let's say that you don't have any of these health disorders. This is a very significant tool in improving brain function. And when we're talking about brain function, we're going to show some other information here. I'm going to pause it now, guys, and because we're going to get started here. I always like to share something like this with you guys. And thank you, Todd and Shannon, for coming on tonight. People are creeping in slowly. I wanted to, before we get started on talking about some of the business aspects of LifeWave and things you can do, I wanted to share with you guys, though, a clip of a short video here. This is uh, one I did with my aunt, um, both my aunts. And, um, whoops, sorry, that's not it. But uh, let's see here. I think uh, it's in the back. 
back into this one. Here we go. Here we go here. I'm going to play this little clip of this for you guys here. Um, and, and the thing is, what's interesting is that um, my Aunt Debbie is the one with the dementia, specifically Parkinson's is a type of dementia that she has, uh, that she was diagnosed with. But even this interview does not do it justice. But but I want to I want to show you guys this. Where the heck is? Oh, there we go. Screen share. Um, because she's also used carnosine as well. But on this particular, she's she's been mainly just using X thirty nine. But um, now Charlotte, she's being goofy the whole time on this video. I don't know why, but she is and. Uh, but Debbie, will, she'll she'll tell you uh, what she uh, went through. Charlotte and Debbie, Charlotte is to the right, and Aunt Debbie to the left. I guess that's the way it is. The way you guys see it too. Mm -hmm. And both of these girls have been using X thirty nine. Actually, Eon for Charlotte. Charlotte started off just doing Eon with arthritis issues. And can you tell me what it did when you we did Eon for the arthritis? It felt good. I could use my hand without hurting. For the first time, I think, in a long time. Mm -hmm. So, and that surprised me because it was like the next day you were telling me that. And I know that <laughs> you don't, you don't really. <laughs> you want me to it? Shut up, shut up. Uh, she gets, yeah, Debbie wants to be serious and what it is it is her the arthritis was really bad in the middle finger for her and that's why she was making the little joke about it but it was actually in both of her hands and she had a big swelling on the back of her hand and I remember my wife she was you, you'd been diagnosed with dementia is that right or? yes Parkinson's Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. So, and you went from, I mean, because I noticed a major difference about, I guess, about three weeks into you using it. Mm -hmm. So, how did you feel as far as uh, after using it? Because you've been now, what, maybe two months? Yes, about two months, and I feel great. I mean, I put a patch on the back of my neck. Right. Every day, do it in the morning. Religiously, I put it down there, and it makes me feel better because I've had a lot of back surgeries. Right. And it's helped with the pain associated with that. So, yeah, I'm so, I'm really so um, That is amazing. So, and as far as, as far as uh, Parkinson's, what were the, some of the symptoms that you dealt with before? Before I couldn't remember things. I mean, just day-to-day -day things. And uh, after I started taking it, my memory has come back to me a little bit at a time. And she's noticed it really. I'll just stop it right there just uh, because we got it already loaded on there. Let me uh, close this out. I'm so good at figuring out how to find a real stop share. But uh, the thing is, for her, it's been like night and day. I mean, if you saw how bad off she was uh, just two months ago, I would talk to her and she it would take her a long time to be able to respond uh, to me. And, but she very rapidly began to get very more, more cognitive, but it is like she said, over time, it's gotten better and better and better. And, uh, and I would say about a week ago on the phone, when I was talking to her, the, the amazing clarity that she had was just beyond anything I could even comprehend. So it's just been very exciting for me to see her improve in her health and um and and like she said too the other thing that surprised me she's got literally a scar from the top of her neck all the way down to her behind where she's had two back surgeries where they opened up her entire spinal cord um and so she was she suffered a lot of pain with it. they were wanting to do a third surgery on her but uh, she says that she doesn't have the pain now uh, using, and this was before we did the interview. She told me, she says, I'm not going to go do the surgery. She says, why, why would I do it? She said, if I'm not in pain, there's no sense in them letting them cut on me again. So, you know, that's really amazing. I know she's got a rod in her back as well. So 
uh, you know, just to see that this, you know, the, what, what can happen for people. And it's things like that. That's what causes me to go out there and share with total strangers that I don't, I don't even know, because I feel like that maybe they may have a need that this could help them with. And so I, I'm just, I share it with anybody and everybody. And so I just encourage you guys to do that as well. Todd and Shannon, I'm going to have you guys take it away for a little bit here and, uh, just share whichever direction you guys want to go in. We're kind of a small group tonight, but I'm sure people are still probably a trickle in regardless as we go. Howdy, howdy. Well, good to see you tonight. Good to see everybody tonight. We are uh, Shannon. We are Shannon and Todd Varvel, and uh, we are from the Cincinnati, Ohio area. And uh, we've been using the patches for 10 months. And it's just made a world of difference. Um, for those of you that don't know our story, I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia about 28 years ago. And um, just really uh, over the last, I'd say probably four years, it's just really kind of gotten increasingly difficult to deal with. And um, it's just been amazing what the X39 has been able to do. Um, and along with some of the other patches as well for me, and, um, you know, for Todd as well. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us on Steve. Um, yeah, we just, we couldn't be more hey, thrilled. Um, uh, you guys with are this. rock stars. What are you talking about? I mean, <laughs> to get you guys on, see, that's, that's like, that's like getting, that's like trying to call the, uh, well, we don't want to say the president. He's not very popular, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway, well, uh, thank you. Really delighted to have you guys on. No, oh, thank you. Man. We're always, always happy to share with your group. Um, yeah. no, um, yeah, we, we're just thrilled. And, um, you know, we, uh, we started the patch, like, like Shan said about, about 10 months ago or so didn't know what to expect. I mean, um, I, we knew what she was dealing with and sometimes for guys, you just deal with stuff and you don't, you try not to c complain. You just say, well, it's just the way it is. You know, I have a lot of wear and tear from, you know, from back in the day, college basketball and, and I kept playing um, through my early 40s, which I probably shouldn't have, but uh, a lot of wear and tear on my neck, chronic neck pain, uh, herniated discs in my lower back. And uh, but I, I didn't know. I, I quite honestly wasn't really um, I was on board with trying it, but I, I just I kind of thought there's no way this this patch can do what they say. It was kind of in the back of my mind. And um and our daughter was staying with us for a couple of weeks, you know, yeah. when we started on the patches and she had had a bad car accident um, about eight months or I'm sorry, eight years prior, which led to cyclical vomiting syndrome with her. And she was waking up every day of her life nauseous. She couldn't even eat anything until early afternoon. And and that's and we had taken her to every doctor imaginable, um, different types of doctors, you know, to try to figure it out. And they all you know, they all just tried to put her on a bunch of meds and um, nobody could give her answers. And so we just said, hey, McKenna, you know, this this might help you uh, just give it a try. And so she was kind of laughing and OK, I'll try it, you know, and her husband, Josh, was there as well. And day three, we kind of forgot that she was taking it. And day three, she came down and she said, uh, she said, well, by the way, uh, I haven't had any nausea in three days and kind of ha ha ha. And. Josh said, McKenna, that's, that's a big deal. You know, you've, I've never, since I've known you, you've never gone two days without being nauseous. And she said, well, you know, it's probably a fluke and we'll see how I am in a couple of weeks. And, and sure enough, a couple of weeks go by and she's like, okay, I'll tell everyone about this thing because uh, that's two straight weeks now that can't be a fluke. And, um, and, and so, you know, when different things come in her path, like if she has to travel for work, if there's some stressful situations that can sometimes lead, uh, you know, take her off track a little bit, but it's, it's, I don't know what percentage better it is, but they, they say these patches are like gold. Um, so seeing that for my little girl is pretty awesome. And for me, my, my miracle, um, you know, is about 10 days in my 10 year neck pain. I just, I noticed I said, Shannon, look at this. I'm shaking my neck around. And I said, I, I don't have any pain. I mean, it went probably from like an 8.5 to a 1.5. Um, and, and what that meant was I wasn't reaching for ibuprofen like I normally was. And because uh, I would pop four at a time, you know, um, not like all day long, but, you know, I, several times a week. 
um, I would take that because that would the neck pain would lead to headaches as well. And um, and so I've maybe taken ibuprofen, you know, five, six times maybe in the last 10 months. Um, and it wasn't even not even for my neck pain. It was for, you know, for other issues or whatever. So um, so we, we couldn't be more more thrilled. And, you know, we started to share this with intention um, and it very quickly became a business really within a couple of weeks. And uh, we start, you know, well, my, we shared with my parents, oh, yeah. they were the first ones we reached out to and, you know, they had great results. My mom has very bad arthritis in her fingers and to the point that her hands were, you know, crimped up, you could visually see that she had arthritis in her hands. And, you know, she's eight, nine months in now on the patch. And that's one of the first things they go to Florida every winter. And one of her friends said, oh my gosh, Debbie, your hands are straight. What are you doing? And she said, well, my daughter and son-in-law have me on these phototherapy patches. And uh, you clearly cannot even see the arthritis in her fingers. Um, you know, and it's that that to me is just amazing because, you know, we read all of these uh, studies on what this X39 patch does. And, you know, it is the reduced inflammation. It is, you know, the reduction in pain, wound healing, uh, muscular and skeletal conditions. And, you know, you see all of that. And you read it and you see the studies, but then when we start to see that in other people, it's just been, you know, amazing. And I know on your team, you have incredible stories. Uh, I just had a story today um, that one of our brand partners uh, messaged me and she, and I didn't even tell Todd this, but she has a son that has autism and um, they, she's a worship leader at a church. And typically she said he will sit in the back of the church with his hands over his ears because he's just really affected by the worship music. And he's been on the patches now for three weeks and he just went for a checkup at his doctor's and he looked at the doctor and he's like, I think he's around 10 years old. And he said, he looked right at the doctor and he said, these patches are helping helping take my autism away. And oh, wow. yeah, he said that to the doctor and he proceeded to go to church today, worshiping his hands up in the front of the church and then proceeded to uh, say a prayer over his two little brothers, which he said, typically, you know, he's sitting in the very back you know, trying to hide from the sound. And so, I mean, it's just like one testimony after another. So, you know, like Todd said, you know, we, we started sharing this with intention and sharing this with everybody we knew. And um, it, it has turned into a business. We've treated it like a business because we feel that we have on our hands something that will absolutely change the world. And we've run with that and we're sharing that. And, um, you know, it's it's turned into a full-time income for, for us and has literally changed our lives, you know, not only physically, but now financially. And now we're helping other people share. And um, people are captivated, people at all levels, you know, of, um, you know, people in the medical field. Um, we did a presentation for a chiropractor group here in Ohio, and they sat on the edge of their seats the whole time we were sharing this. They couldn't wait to personally get their own orders to put the patches on themselves. And they have a neuropathy clinic and they're planning to use the patches in that clinic. And um, so, you know, our advice is just, you know, share this and share it with intention. And, you know, we use the startx39.com website. We love that website if somebody has an interest because it does have all the science on it. It does have the videos. And we just tell people like, hey, watch the first couple of videos. So if any of you are on here tonight and you haven't seen that website, jot that down, startx39.com. Um, you know, take a look at those videos. And then if you have someone that's interested, pass that website along to them. You know, we don't feel like we have to know all the science behind the science. We leave that to David Schmidt, but we have that tool of that Start X39 um, website. And uh, that is what we're sharing with people. Yep. And it's a real um, simple and duplicatable system, which means, you know, we have like tonight, I mean, there's um, 
Well, right now, I mean, with, you know, Jason and, and Pam, uh, some of our leaders and Tony well, at, are, nine, at nine o'clock Eastern. Is it nine? Yeah. Oh, nine Eastern. I knew that. So, uh, so yeah, nine o'clock Eastern. So that's Sunday night. And then our friends, Rich and Mia from California do it on Tuesday night. And then Shannon and I do it on Thursday night oh, at a webinar, nine o'clock, a webinar which mm -hmm. shows the opportunity. So even when you're, there's a lot of people, you know, you'll hear, Oh, I'm too busy to add something else to, to our plate or whatever. I have this job or that job. And, uh, and the truth is everyone's busy, you know, the, not too many, if it, if there's someone sitting around on the couch all day, you know, just waiting for an opportunity to hit them over the head, they're probably not going to do anything anyway. Right. You're looking for busy people because busy people are around, uh, people and they're, they talk to a lot of people and this is, you know, if you look at this as, um, you know, I'm a big movie guy, right? And and I could share a movie. I've talked with Steve about old, you know, Chevy Chase movies and stuff and just funny, you know, like I can promote a movie like crazy. The movie industry, they don't pay me anything to recommend those, right? Or we have a Carl, Carlo and Johnny's uh, steak restaurant here in Cincinnati that is the best steak you'll ever taste anywhere. And, um, you know, I promote that. I tell people about that all the time. I don't receive any, any type of, uh, you know, royalties from that, from that uh, restaurant. But with this, you know, obviously when you share this with intention, um, and, and even when you're busy, you can get people on the webinars, you know, when you're slam busy, you know, if you put value on it and you say, Hey, what are you doing at nine o'clock tonight? I'm saying we're Eastern time. What are you doing at nine o'clock tonight? Um, you know, maybe you've been talking to them about the patches or they're asking more information or whatever. Uh, I tell you what, if I send you this link, uh, will you be sure to watch it? And, and most people are going to say, well, yeah, I'll, I'll watch it if you send it to me. Right. So have people watch those webinars. And my, my thinking is if they, if they join a webinar and see everything, I mean, Steve was just playing all the stuff on David Schmidt and I mean, the, the genius of David Schmidt and all of his accomplishments and, and the things uh, that he's doing in the world. Um, he's, he's a difference maker, you know, and if people hop on these webinars and they see the power of what we're talking about, um, if, if they don't, if they don't jump on board, you know, I, then I, I would be just, my mind would be just uh, boggled, you know, um, because uh, they're going to see it, you know, they're going to see the power of this. So it's a very simple du duplicatable system. And, and like Shan said, I mean, we, we built this to, to six figures in, in under five months and, and we know the power of networking and we know that that's only going to go up. And, and we're talking, you know, just to let, like, I'm just letting people know, you know, because sometimes when people hear of a, like a, a home business, right. Or, uh, or, uh, you know, an inter internet type business, then, you know, they think, well, I'll make a, maybe a thousand or a couple thousand bucks a month, you know? And uh, so when you're talking six figures and we know that this eventually will get to six figures a month, um, it's a powerful thing. So we just want to let you know that that's, that's what we have our hands on. And the fact that this is a one of a kind patented wearable technology that no one else has, you know, we're not just sharing another energy drink, you know, we're not sharing another hydration drink or vitamins or, or skincare, nothing wrong with those. There's some great products out there, but there's a lot of them. There's a lot of competition in there. Right. And with this, there's no competition. We're the only company that has something like this. Well, and, and the one thing that I would also just jump in real quick, Steve, because we don't want to take over this whole time here with your people. But the one thing that I would just say is that if you are sharing this, don't do it alone. Mm. So I think, you know, this isn't a business where you go alone, you know, you grab you grab someone and you help you use that third party credibility. And that's so important. So Todd and I sometimes will use one another. We'll use our leaders. Um, you know, so definitely it's a business where you're reaching out for help and certainly we're there here. We're here to help, um, you all as well. We do a lot of phone calls with people where we jump on for maybe five or 10 minutes. We share our story. We share a little bit about, um, the credibility of the company. Um, and you know, that just people hear it from another voice and it makes all the difference. So, um, you know, consider that as well. And then, you know, consider getting some of your friends, you know, people that you have interested 
on a Zoom, you know, where they're jumping on here, you know, and, and listening or one of the Zooms that we have going on during the week. Um, because truly, you know, you want to plug into the system as much as you can. And um, that's where we have the duplication and the and the simplicity of it. Amen. Unmute myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dogs get barking, so I have to mute myself in here. So uh, thank you guys so much for 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 um, uh, sharing that with with everybody too, because um, the thing is that one thing I want to just uh, share with people tonight, and that is the importance of as Shannon says, you know, you we have the most incredible product there is on the market today. And I was playing that corner scene video for you. I always like to do one of David Schmidt where he goes into um, the technology behind it, the studies that they do, things like that. He says a lot more things than what we can say sometimes publicly, but uh, but that's OK. That's why we kind of lean on him for that. But the reason for that too is to kind of help get you more educated about what you have in your hands. Just like the energy patch. You think the energy patch is only to enhance energy, but when you begin to look at the studies behind it and you realize, like David says, uh, it create, it's, it's causing your body to manufacture NAD at a cellular level. And NAD, if you go into a, uh, 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 one of these natural therapy uh, clinics that do IV therapies, NAD is like $500 to be able to have that put into your veins. And, and it will boost your memory, your cognitive function. It also helps with the elasticity of the skin. And to think that the energy patch actually does that, I mean, it's a heck of a lot cheaper to use the energy enhancer than it is to use the uh, NAD at one of these clinics, you know, because it's going to last, the, the NAD boost that they give you might last you two or three months, and then you got to go do it again. So you got to figure 500 bucks every three months just to go do that, whereas you could put on the energy patch uh, or energy enhancer, and, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper. So, and, and then the cornicine, the the... I did not realize that David actually talks about the studies of the cognitive function for those people that suffer with the brain related issues and the taking out of the, it'll literally bind to have or to, to aluminum and remove aluminum from the brain. So, you know, the reason why these things all matter is because when we're looking at this, these types of products and things like that, that we have, that's things that you can help people with. That's things that can help stimulate a conversation that you're going to have somewhere out publicly. Uh, you know, like when I was at the post office and the guy's talking about carpal tunnel, you know, and now I didn't know much about carpal tunnel, but I've heard so many testimonies about different issues. I just simply said, you know, hey, you know, I can't guarantee it's going to help, but I can tell you one thing to stimulate you know, for, for something that could help stimulate your stem cells in your own body, your own natural God-given ability to, to, to repair the damages that we suffer, I said, it's got to be worth a shot. And, you know, everybody in the post office wanted the, wanted the information on how to get the product. So, you know, you have things like that. And that's what makes it makes I sit there and I look at people no matter where I'm at. I see people and you see, you know, they're suffering uh, especially when I first came out and made uh, this public on our on our news platform, I never knew people were as sick as they are. I mean, it blew me away, the number of people that have written and, and said, you know, gosh, we're going through this, we're going through that. I mean, people that I had actually communicated with over time before, but not knowing that they're suffering with all these different issues. So you, you realize on, on that type of a scale, and then when you're going out into public, um, whether you're at a grocery store, a restaurant, or whatever the case may be, a ball game, you know, sitting next to somebody, you know, pay attention to what they're going through, pay attention to what's happening to them. Because, you know, especially old people love to do that. I mean, old people love to tell you their aches and pains and what they're having. And they always, the next old guy's got more problems than the guy that had, the other guy did, right? So, take advantage of that, you know, or if you've got a friend talking about, oh, you know, my mom just found out that she's got this or got that and everything. 
That's why the research and listening to what David says about these different products is so important because you may find out that like in the case of Eon, uh, we knew that it worked with inflammation. So when we were at my, at my aunt's house one day, uh, Yana was with me at that time and Charlotte was talking about arthritis. And so Yana put Eon on her, not X39, just put Eon on her. And that's what she wears. And, uh, and, and she, in the video, when you're watching the video, she comes back and she talks about that she couldn't grab a cup. She couldn't grab a glass. It'd fall out of her hand because she couldn't grip anything any longer. She said, but in one day, one 24 hours, she said it changed everything. And my aunt is like major critic. She doesn't believe anything works. And, uh, but you know, she, she is totally sold out on this. Now she started X39 as well. So, you know, th th that's the thing. There's so many people that can be helped. And I, and I think that that's something we just, you got to get bold enough to say something because you got to remember, you might walk away from that person. Let's say you see somebody, it seems obvious that maybe they're going through something. You know, if you walk away, you may take away that opportunity to help change their life. And for a fraction of the cost or somebody that's fixing to go have surgery or something that, maybe tries X39 and finds out that the X39 did such a wonderful thing in stimulating their stem cells that they're not going to have to do this surgery after all. So that's that's just kind of the things that I want to encourage people with tonight. And uh, I'll throw it back at you, you and you uh, guys, uh, Todd and Shannon, and see some of the things that you might encourage on, on whatever that you feel on your on your mind there. And then I guess we could ask or take some questions since as as we're a small group that were, if anybody's got some questions for you guys, we could do that as well. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, you know, you're exactly right, Steve. It, it really is, you know, uh, a lot of time our success is determined by about this space right here. Okay. And that's the space that's between our two ears, right? Because a lot of times, we hear someone saying, we just become master listeners. We become really good listeners. And, and you inevitably, like you said, you're going to hear somebody say something or you're going to see somebody that's in pain, um, you know, whether it is a family member or someone that you know, a friend, or maybe it's somebody on social media or something like that, that you see um, that you, you know, it takes that five seconds of courage to reach out. And, you know, sometimes we just five, four, three, two, one, and we do it. You know, we don't even think about it. We don't even allow ourselves to allow that fear to creep in. We just do it. And, you know, because I think the more you plug in, the more you're listening to David Schmidt, the more you listen to the testimonies, you know, for us being involved only 10 months, our belief is so strong that, that, you know, we're like you, Steve, we'll talk to anybody anywhere. We hear someone mention it. Hey, I have something that might help, might be able to help. I mean, that's not threatening. That's not throwing somebody a sales pitch. You are truly offering somebody yes. the ability to help and change their life. And, and so we don't hesitate with that. And we reach out with strength about what we have. And we always say we kind of have this confidence shield of confidence right and and we carry that where we go and you know part of that shield of confidence is david schmidt and it's all of his research it's his patents it's his brain right we were just on um we've had the blessing to hit the top rank of the company in lifewave because of this amazing team um and we were invited to a Zoom uh, just a couple of days ago with David Schmidt. And uh, he's talking now about, you know, he says the X39 will always be the foundational product. It will always be the hero product. But he's got something in the works that he said is going to rival the X39 in terms of scientific development that he is going to be releasing in October. So, not you know, patch, right? yeah. And, and well, we don't know what it is. We, we think it's not a patch. We think it might have something to do with water, but of course we're just all speculating here. Um, but to think that, you know, we've got him in our back corner. Okay. So here's our shield of confidence. When we're talking to anybody, whether we're facing opinion, opinions that are trying to take us down, We've got him right here, okay? He's on one shoulder. 
Then we have, you know, money back guarantee. That's on another shoulder. Like this company is going to give a money back guarantee on these patches. That's incredible. Um, people would think, well, how are they able to do that? Because they're not getting people that are returning these patches. Um, you know, then you have your story, right? No one can take away our stories. No one can take away the stories of these people that we continue to see. So you have to plug in. You have to get near the fire. We always say, get your battery charged. You know, it's like your cell phone. If you have gotten away from it, you're letting your battery go down. You've got to get back into it. You've got to listen. You've got to hear the testimonies because those things will allow you to step out of your comfort zone and share with strength. And so I'm trying to think. So we have David Schmidt. We've got the money back guarantee. We've got our stories. We've got LifeWave as a company. We're number one in momentum out of 560 companies in the world. We are number one in momentum. We're not number 10. We're not number 50. We're number one. And that only happens when you have a powerful product that is changing people's lives a and a business that goes along with that. And so, you know, we just feel like with that, we'll talk to anybody, we'll talk to anybody in a post office, we'll talk, but we're listening. We have our antennas up. We are here, we are listening, we're on the lookout and we don't hesitate. And just, you know, one, I, I saw a friend on Facebook post that she was miserable. She just had a knee surgery. She had a picture of her knee, it looked terrible. I reached out to her and I said, you have to give these patches a try. Like I, that's my message. Like you yeah. have to give these a try. Like I, I think they could really help you. Now, can we guarantee they're going to help? No, everybody's body's different. She got on that patch and actually she put two on. She didn't really know. I coached her up, but she didn't listen too well. But she put two X39s, one on each side of her incision. And within about four hours, she took another picture and she sent it to me and she said, Oh my goodness, what is in this? Her knee was half the size. This was in a matter of four hours. And she texted me and she said, I am slapping one of my husband tomorrow. And I'm going to tell my friend at church about this. You know, she's just ecstatic about what these are doing. So what we have on our hands is so groundbreaking. It's so incredible. It's photo, it's light, it's light. It's not a chemical. It's not a substance. It's light that's activating what's already there in our body. Like, as you can tell, I get pretty fired up about it, um, but I know what you all have. And sometimes that little space right here just holds us back from going out and sharing with the world. And we just encourage you. You're going to probably face people that are skeptics, but send them to startx39.com. Yeah. You know, and and so I'll let Todd talk a little bit because I kind of just went crazy no, there for a minute. No, it's all good. I mean, yeah, allow the Start X39 that you've also heard. This is it info.com. Uh, both those are really, really good. We've been using Start X39.com uh, quite a bit. Allow that to do the heavy lifting for you. You know, that's I think where where people um, make the mistake is they 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 think they have to explain everything about the patch to whoever you're talking to. Right. And what you and here's the thing. Let's just say, theoretically, you know it all. I mean, you know everything. You've researched it. You know everything right along the same lines as what David Schmidt knows. Um, and let's just say that's where you are. OK. And so you talk to someone and you are just they say, OK, what's in the patch? What? Tell me about it. And you just go and you're like an encyclopedia. You start going boom, 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 boom. And you you, you tell them. You know, you tell them everything there is to know about the X39, about the company. And basically what's going to happen when that happens is they're they're going to sit there and they're going to go, wow, you are really smart, but I could never know all that stuff, right? So that's why we say it's a lot easier if you say, you know what, that's a great question. I know a little bit about this. I've been studying it, studying it but here's the thing. Uh, if I send you this link, would you watch the first three short videos, Right. And guess what? And they say, well, yeah, sure. And then they watch it. It's like, oh my gosh, I never knew it was this. And they're going to, in their mind, they're going, well, that was easy. Like I could do that. I could share that video with someone else. Right. And so that's why it's a, it's a simple duplicatable system. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. The system is already in place. 
Um, and Shan was just saying how, you know, uh, she was just talking with someone and, oh my gosh, I have to get this patch on you. I, I talked to a guy who I used to work with years ago. Gosh. Oh gosh. Probably 30 years ago, 30. Yeah. About 30 years ago. And he just went through a surgery and he, he boohoo, he boohooed it on Facebook and woe is me. And look at this and wanted everybody to get, feel sorry for him. And, uh, which, which to have empathy, he is going through pain. He's going through. Pain. Okay. She has a lot more empathy than I do, but here's the thing. So no, that that's one thing. But when I reached out to him and said, Hey brother, good to talk to you. I got something you need. Check this out. And took, I took the time to do that because I generally, you know, I care about people. I do. Uh, oh. The reason I don't have much empathy is because his response was pass. But that's pass. okay. But that's okay. <laughs> right. So this is what we learn. Like some people will say yes. Some people will say no. We just keep moving on. Totally. And, um, yeah. you know, and yeah, it, it doesn't, can... that's the thing. It, it didn't phase me, but, huh. but my point is, you know, some, some just, you know, some just just won't. You know, I mean, they, it's like he okay. he would rather you know just go through what he's going through and not you know not find a solution. People are people. That's one of the biggest <laughs> trainings you can have is people are people, and you just can't you know. It's not about selling. This isn't about selling. It's about sharing something powerful with people. And the one thing we found is people will say no, but a lot of times they just mean not right now. Not right now. And I, I want to wait and see and how you do. It. And you know what? Like we say, just, you know, be addicted to the activity, which is just reaching out to people and sharing it, not their response, right? So you may get a lot of no's. We get a lot of no's. A lot of people think everybody just says yes to us. But we're just talking to a lot of people. We're just sharing with a lot of people. Yeah. So Steve, we'll throw it back to you. And if anybody has some questions, we can jump in here and uh, we'd yeah. love to talk. Yeah, let's go to questions. Uh, if anybody's got questions there, uh, let's see here. Got a couple more people jumping in here too. So yeah, if anybody's got any questions uh, for Todd, Shannon, or myself, uh, please just come right on in and ask. Uh, you can just unmute yourself and, and ask away. That's Why a group tonight. Yes. Nobody wants to be first. That's right. Well, right. If, if anyone has a testimony, we'd love to even hear that or hear, you know, your name, where you're from, you know, what, if you're just taking a look at this for the first time, if you've used the patch, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah. GT. Yeah, <clears throat> I have a question and uh, sort of a testimony. My question, I have not used the E on yet, and I've got some pain issues. So is that something you put right over the source of pain? The, <clears throat> um, not necessarily. I mean, you can, again, these are the, based on phototherapy, so you can slap them on anywhere. Most people... Um, just kind of they have they have the idea of hey I want to put it close to where the issue is nothing wrong with that but um but, but the ice wave so if you have right now pain do you have any of the ice wave patches I do and I've I've tried to use the ice wave <clears throat> haven't been able to make it work I I don't know um the one thing we did hear oh gosh just a couple of days ago uh a chiropractor uh was sharing that was using them and um so they were talking about you know they talk about that clock cross clock method you know with putting it on the pain point and then the 12 the three the six the nine but then they said you could also go direct opposite so if your pain is here go directly behind it with the other patch and you know if you have back pain you're even mirroring that in the front right like under the sternum or wherever it is so it's a direct mirror of that pain point um people will also use them i think we've said this on the bottoms of the feet right uh white on the, underneath the right foot and tan underneath the left foot um they've also used them on behind the wrist um, and so, you know, sometimes it's, it is a trial and error, uh, you know, with those, um, but certainly, uh, I feel like 
there is a solution for you with that. We just, you just probably haven't found the spot for that. Yeah. Well, um, he'd actually asked about Eon is what he asked about was the Eon patch for that because of the lowering of the inflammation. And, uh, but real quick though, while you mentioned the part about the ice wave patch there, there's uh if you've got really bad pain and you can't seem to get it to work on the clock method, um, or if you put it on the bottom of your feet and you're not having a success, David said, put it on the bottom of your feet. He said, but then take on, let's see if I can show you that you'd want to put it right here on this part of your arm here, brown on the left, and then on the right side, put it over there as well. He said, what that does, he said, the energy flow in the feet work on a particular organ in the body, but the one there that you put there, he said, you're going to wear them both at that point. And he said, that works on the energy flow of the heart. And he hmm. said, if you put them in both places, <clears throat> Uh, and he said, generally, regardless of where the pain is in the body, it should alleviate the pain to some degree at that point. Uh, I have done that before and it did help. Uh, that was one of the few, few ways that it worked for me. Uh, and of course the Eon, because it does lower inflammation, uh, normally it takes a couple of hours. It's not like the, uh, ice wave where you can get the instant relief. If you, if you happen to get the right the right, uh, the right positioning of it, which it all has to do with energy flow. And it's the same thing with the carnosine uh, or even the Eon patch. Uh, David does talk about the way the energy flows through the body is very important for those patches to have the optimal uh, working point on there. Although theoretically you could place it right where the pain is. I know my aunt Charlotte, she put the patch, uh, I know I tell you about, it, she actually put the Eon right here on her chest. Uh, there's some place there where there's an energy at there. And uh, she said by the next morning, she was totally pain-free and has been ever since. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. That's I awesome. Anymore. Well, there we go. We've learned something there, Steve. That was amazing. Yeah, the yeah, that's 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 you know, and I have done the clock method quite a bit, especially the lower back. And I did find out, like for example, when I get into the um, uh, L five uh, range area, there I have to put the brown on the spot, and then directly below it is what helps give the connection on on my particular issues that I deal with there. Um, but but it, but it is hard to say. And he also, there's another one he talks about too, is placing the patches on the back of the shoulders there on the left side, right side. He said, because you carry the weight of the world, so to speak, is resting on your shoulders. He said, and that's another energy wave uh, link in the body as well. So, so those are some good ideas to consider there. And of course he does use acupuncture pressure points in, in doing these things. And I, I just so happen I've got a sister that's an acupuncture physician in Japan. So uh, not that I call her up and find out any information, but I have, Yana had her dad, we used an acupuncture physician on him one time and it was a good one, not just one of these fly by nights, but one that has really like my sister that, you know, she spent four years in medical school studying this and, um, you know, but when they're when you have one that's really good like that, they know how to place those pressure points, but then they use these pharmaceutical grade type herbs, uh, and that causes the flow of energy to carry it the right way. And we actually saw his prostate go down as a result of that. So imagine that. Now instead of though the having the needle stuck in you, you're using the exact same points. And when those patches are placed, like I'll actually the energy enhancer, I'm wearing doubles. I'm wearing them on my, below my knees and on my wrist. And Dave is right. If you wear doubles, that energy level is definitely going to go much higher than just the singles. Uh, but you got it. You want to really get that pressure point because when you get that pressure point, that flow of energy really goes through the body the proper way. Now he says, pull it off at night, but I forgot to pull mine off and I can sleep through a hurricane anyway. But uh, I left it on by accident the first night. Then I got to where I wanted to wear them at night anyway, because it really causes you to dream. 
you you won't forget your dreams at all. The, the, that energy enhancer just makes the dreams come alive. But like you said, though, it's working on a cellular level, not just energy, but that NAD that's within the cellular level. And you'd have to do some studies on that to understand what NAD really is. It also, by the way, is what they use to get people off of uh, hardcore drugs is NAD in high doses. So energy enhancer might actually help somebody that's been addicted to, to uh, drugs to actually uh, have less symptoms of uh, withdrawal. I mean, because of what it does. Uh, he hasn't said that, and I don't know if that's the case or not, but if it's creating NAD in the body or elevating your NAD levels, uh, then I can see where it possibly could help with that as well. So that's why I'm always fascinated by the studies. They're, they're always so enlightening to get to listen to those. Any any yeah. other questions? There's Ron, one. Ron has one. I'm not taking Ron's questions. He's not allowed to ask any. <laughs> He's in timeout. I'm just kidding. Go ahead, Ron. You got to unmute yourself, though. Let me see. Oh, I got to. That's weird. Some people, it says I have to ask them to unmute and then they can do it. There you go. You got to be careful what I say now. Okay, <laughs> Brother Steve, what I was asking, uh, did you say use two sets of ice wave? Uh, no, not the ice. Oh, yes. You can use two sets of ice wave. Yes. If you're going to do a whole body pain, uh, you put it. And when you put it on the bottom of your foot, you want to be um, uh, right in the, how would you describe that? Let me see if I can show that in a, the arch. In a, <laughs> it not, it's not, it's actually in the arch, but it's toward going up towards the top of the arch there is where you want to be at. So yeah, that's why, that's why when he talks about that, um, let me put on here, let's see, I can probably show you that real quick for sure. Well, I've used that down there like that, but it's never really helped me. I always use the Eon. That helps a lot. <clears throat> yeah, I think helps. Eon, it, it, it probably it probably really has a lot to do with uh, what's causing the pain. And uh, so I think that uh, when we're looking at these things here, um, you know, that, that one of the one of the things is, is that. Uh, you know, you may find that it really does work better uh, than maybe the maybe the uh, ice wave. It might be better to do the eon. Here we go. I found the image here. Let me switch over here for you guys so you can see this as well. You see right there on the bottom of the foot there to the left side of the screen. Uh, that's where he's talking about there. But when you're wearing double of those. You have it right there on the bottom of the foot. And then if you go right over here on the inside, of, not on the elbow itself, but the inside of the arm right there, that's where you'd wear the other ice wave patch. Uh, so you'd be wearing two sets, one on the bottom of the foot and one right there on the inside of the arm there and the and the and the joint area there, but uh, on the side of the arm. And that's what David said is the heart flow. And he said it's two different organs in the body that that are that that activate those energy flows. And he said, and when you really got a, a pain that you can't seem to get rid of, he said that's the best way to do it. All right. Let's go back. Let me get rid of the share screen. Yeah. I you know, and I know that like like uh, Shannon, like when she had the lump on her spine, she just put it right on there. And I've done that as well. I pulled a I pulled something in my right arm uh, and because I lift up, I lift a lot of steel and stuff. So I had some tor tore some ligaments or something in there and it, were, it was really in a lot of pain. I put X39, X49 and Ice Wave all on that elbow. And, uh, and I worked for about two days. First day though, I noticed almost the next day it was like greatly reduced in the pain and everything. Uh, but it took about two days then on the third day, I didn't have any problem at all with it. So, so I do like that direct on type application. Anybody else? All right. So, well, what we will do then is we'll wrap up here then because we're almost at an hour anyway, and we'll post. I think Doctor T here. jumped in. Do you have another? Question? Oh, go ahead, Doctor. Well, I was just going to tell you about a case this week. Um, as you know, I've been uh, 
prescribing them for animals. And um, about two weeks ago now, this people came in with their dog, little French bulldog. I've been treating it for 10 or 12 years for uh, autoimmune disease and inflammatory bowel problems. So this dog has been on steroids most of its life because if it wasn't on steroids, it would have terrible diarrhea and, you know, just nasty symptoms. Its eyes were all messed up <clears throat> because it's a, it's a bulldog. So it's got bulgy eyes and, um, so just a menagerie of problems. This dog came in and I got blood work on it. Its blood proteins were terrible. The dog was going to die. I'm not kidding. I mean, you know, I know the signs, right? Um, so I said, okay, the, this is a last ditch effort. Uh, we're going to ramp those steroids up, you know, because she's become refractory to treatment at this point. And I'm going to send you these patches. And this is what they do. And I've heard in, you know, human testimonies of really good results from immune disease, for immune disease. And uh, so they were going to, down to L.A. They took the medicine with them. They were going, I, I thought, this dog is going to die. <laughs> They're going to call me because I didn't get back to them right away with the blood work and so on. I had a lot going on. And, and they called on Monday. And I thought, oh, no, <laughs> it's going to be one of those calls. You can't believe what happened. <laughs> uh, Maud's eyes cleared up in three days. And she's oh still doing goodness. okay, right? Yeah, she's still alive. She's eating and drinking. She's doing better. <laughs> that is so that, amazing. That was my, you know, kind of my best story so far in uh, using patches on animals. So that was, that was very exciting. Wow. That right? is. That is. I'm gonna, when I get back home, I'm going to start our cat on glutathione patch. <laughs> That's going to be the next treatment scenario. Was so. that with the X39, Dr. T? Yes. Okay. Wow. That is absolutely what amazing. A story. So, you know, I'll just add that, you know, with that experience, um, in dogs and cats, we see a lot of corneal injury, scratches, abrasions, dogs going through weeds and, you know, stuff like that. Um, and there are certain animals that they just don't heal properly. And I would just bet that putting X39 on all those corneal injuries, that that would fix it. So I yield. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. See, now he can get away with it. He's the, he's the vet. He's a doctor. So he can tell, he can prescribe what he wants to his patients. <laughs> well, and what credibility for all of us though, because, you know, you have 40 years in that field. You are, you know, out doing things, uh, you know, cutting edge that other vets are not doing. And yet you see the value in these patches and so that like that's huge credibility so we're just honored to have you a part of the team yeah we we use your credibility quite often actually i don't know if you knew that but we do <laughs> and we and we want to send our dog baxter to you because he needs <laughs> severe help in a lot of ways so <laughs> we just need to put a patch on him i guess yeah well we do there you go. You know, the one thing is, it's funny how you guys talk about that too. You know, I remember uh, hearing people talk about putting it on the pet collar, right? And, you know, in the beginning, I did not realize that the patches, you know, it's, it works both sides, you know, because it's just that, you know, it'll, it'll reflect either way. So I used to think, oh, what do you do? You just stick it on the back of the collar or do you, or, or, or how do you do that? I'm like, now, how's it going to get to the pet if you're going to stick it on the back of the collar? I don't get that, right? Or they'd say you could stick it on your clothes if it, if you're if you're allergic to the adhesive. And I'm like, what do I do? Just stick it right here or something? No, dummy. You stick it on the inside of the clothes that so lays against the skin. And so that was kind of neat. By the way, Dr. Ken, uh, I've seen her picture on here, and I'm going to show you who that is real quick. Uh, uh, I know she also promotes LifeWave, but if you ever watch videos with this girl right here, let me put, put it on there. There, uh, very brilliant lady, and uh, and and she is very good at knowing about the right places to place the patches as well. 
So if you're if you're curious about things, you just look her up on YouTube. She's done a lot of videos about uh, the different patches, how they work, stuff like that. And she's a very good source of information as well on uh, placement and things like that. Um, and oh, there's one thing I do want to touch on with you guys real quick before we close out this meeting, and that is your back office. Uh, we got an issue there that I want to make sure you guys are aware of. Your uh, your binary system, your legs that you have, you have the two legs on your binary system. All right, so you want to remember that you got a strong side and a weak side to your binary system. Some people, though, they run neck and neck, which is not the best thing in the world to have happen. I, we're running neck and neck. We basically build both our sides automatically. And when you, because you'll have overflow going into your, into your, um, into your organization on, on your right or your left there, you want to keep a close eye on how that's, how that's functioning. Uh, I was looking at some of you guys recently just to see how that is. Uh, one particular person had like 70 people on one side and only like one on their left. And when you have a situation like that, where you've got a lot of overflow to one side, other than the fact you do need two silvers to your right and two silver years to your left so that you can qualify as manager, but focus then on your weaker side until you're at least half that volume of the stronger side. That's what you want to be able to maintain is about a 50% ratio to that full ratio that will max out the compensation for what they call the binary system. That's so, so important. And uh, because when you are neck and neck, it makes it harder for the, the cycles to work. And I didn't quite understand that at first. I knew on some weeks we would do really well on that. And then other weeks it was terrible. And I couldn't, under I'm like, well, gosh, we have the volume. What's the problem? It's because ours are too even. And so that's what we're trying to do now is to focus on the side, which most everybody here is on the right side that I have. And uh, so you're going to end up getting a lot more spillover as well. And so that's going to make it to where you need to pay attention because if I'm not focused on the left, and, I, and I'm almost positive, almost all of you guys um, are on my right side, except Dr. T. I think he's on my left side. But um, we've been, you know, the thing is, though, is this going to cause more volume to grow on you? And so if you've already got your two silvers on your right, then stay focused or, or whichever is your strong side. Focus on that weak side because they'll start you'll start getting paid for what they call the cycle bonuses. And every time you cycle, that's a fifty dollar uh, paycheck you get. And you're earning money off of these people that just popped up in your downline for you know, like, like, you know, I guess it'd be like getting the manna from heaven. So, but in this white case, we're getting it from life. So, you know. Anyway. All right. Any last questions before we close out tonight? All right. Well, God bless you. I have you. a question. Yes, I have a question. Ahead, Donna. Uh, you talked about the water last week and talked about blending it in the blender, the salt and the water. Can you explain that? I didn't quite catch. Okay, what that is for electrolytes, let me see if I can find the right one. Um, there, there's, Yana's the one that actually was telling me about this. Uh, and there is one particular brand of sea salt that she uses. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of that real quick. Um, uh, Redmond? Did you say Redmond? Yeah. Maybe. Let me just see. I, I just know. Yeah, that is, it is Redmond. You're exactly right. So I'm going to show that to you. What you do, um, and this is what my wife was telling me, I, and I've actually done it. It actually does. It, it works very well. I actually don't have it here where I'm at now, but um, this, this salt right here is what you would want to get. Um, and I'm not saying get it from Amazon, just just because it's just so you can see the package what you're looking at. Red uh, uh, Redmond's real salt, and uh, there you go, right there. There's the name of it there. I would say take a quarter of a teaspoon, and then you put it in water, and then put it in the blender, and on a low speed for like three to four minutes, blend it. And what it does, it helps break the molecules of the salt into the water. 
Uh, and if you if you tried it as an experiment, just put it in water and shook it up, drink it, or then then versus the blending, it's like night and day difference. You can literally tell that well what the difference is. But you do that on an empty stomach before you drink your coffee or whatever you drink in the morning. Drink that. It'll give you all the electrolytes you need for the day. And that's what David Schmidt says. Your body definitely needs those electrolytes in order to uh, uh, to make your body be more optimal for X39. So very important to do. Uh, I know it's a little boring to wait for a blender to go for three to four minutes, but uh, just turn on low and walk away, go do something else. And uh, preferably try not to drink no uh, chlorinated, fluorinated water either while you're at it. So yeah. <laughs> to have if yeah if you don't have anything else use bottled water or at least filter the water where you can get the chlorine and fluoride out of if possible how um, much water did you use with it i just use a regular glass of water is all like eight ounces of water is all you need and so like just a little quarter teaspoon of that salt and blend it up and that'll give you all the electrolytes you, your body will need so you don't that's all you need for the whole day now yeah. And if you want to get your bowels moving, then you can maybe do a couple of teaspoons of that salt and blend it <laughs> up and you'll get you'll get electrolyte and bowel movement all in one day. <laughs> so, OK, so, good deal. Thank you. Know, you. You're so welcome, Donna. All right, guys. Well, thank you for guys for all for coming in tonight. And uh, uh, and, and and by the way. You know what? I know she didn't do it today because our post office closes early. I'll be going to the post office Tuesday, brother. So God bless you. I got to show you all what this brother did. Brother Ron made us a beautiful cross there. It's so pretty the way he does that woodworking stuff. So when we get it in, I'm going to share it with everybody here. Well, the and one I was going to send you, I couldn't find a box for it. Couldn't find a box for it? <laughs> well, it's two feet tall and 18 inches wide. Woo, dog. Yeah, it was a big box. You had to put that in. So, all right. Well, I love you guys. Y'all have a good night, and we will talk soon. Thank you, Aww. Todd and Shannon, for joining us tonight. Absolutely. You're welcome. Much love to all of you. Have a blessed night. Thanks Thank so much. You. See y'all. Take bye care. Bye. God bless. God bless you.